Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Malore Tutorials. In this episode, we're going to be covering crouching, but this time using Unreal Engine 4's built-in system. So, let's begin. So, uh, to give a little bit of backstory, um, the crouching feature has been done in many ways within Unreal Engine. However, the engine itself has a built-in crouch um, a crouch feature actually in there, and I'll show you by adding it right now. So, in first-person character, we're going to make the left control be the crouch button. So we're going to just type in left control and select that. And so when it's pressed, we want it to crouch. Type in crouch. And when we want it to un when we release it, we want it to uncrouch. And it's as simple as that, really. Now the other thing we need to do is click on character movement and click on can crouch. But this is the problem. When people discover this feature, they say, oh wow, that's really easy. But when you actually use it, that camera jittering back and forth is where the main issue is. How do we get this to be nice and smooth? Um, and there's, uh, I mean, it's been solved so many different ways. Um, one of the ways actually takes quite a lot of programming, but I'm going to show you this really, really easy way to do it that actually requires no blueprint coding at all. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to put this, um, sorry about that, we're going to be putting the camera itself on a spring arm. So let's go to our viewport and let's go to Oh no. Hold on a second. Okay. Let's go to add a component and let's go to spring arm. Okay. And we can just name that that. We're gonna drag our first person character into our spring arm. And inside spring arm for the actual details, uh, we're gonna go down and let's make the arm length zero because that doesn't necessarily matter. What does matter is this camera lag component. So um, in here we're going to enable camera lag and just set this to 20. And that's essentially it really. So now in here you'll see that because the character is lagging behind by a little bit, um, we actually have a smoother motion. There is only one real issue with this, and it's that all of the camera movements, uh, specifically for um, uh, just translational, is going to be a slightly lagged behind. But if you make it relatively fast, like how this one is, you essentially can't really tell. Um, so that's essentially it. It's a very quick tutorial. Um, no blueprint coding involved except for our actual crouch feature. But I thought I would actually just make a video and address this issue because people have come up with some very complicated systems that is actually not really necessary if you just use the spring arm and the lag. So thank you very much, and I will see you in the next one.